Good evening, I'm Dana King. And I'm Ken Bastida. Tonight, the most distinct terror threat since 9-11. And U.S. officials are warning new attacks might come as soon as this summer. Greg Lefebvre on the terror alert and whether the Bay Area could be a target. The big reason for the alert is that this summer brings so many targets of opportunity. We're looking at this as um, potentially a, a, a good time for terrorists to uh, uh, plan an attack. High-profile targets like America's new World War II memorial in Washington, the G8 summit in Georgia next month, and either of the major political conventions in New York or Boston. While there's no time or place mentioned, intelligence officials call it the most credible and serious information yet, with new focus on rail systems, 400 miles of which encircle the Bay Area. We have a, a wall built up around the entire facility. Mm -hmm. Earlier today, Senator Barbara Boxer raised the issue at a new Amtrak facility in Oakland. Any attack on our rail system would be devastating. Today, an international think tank said Al-Qaeda was in fact not weakened by the war on terror, but dispersed and strengthened by it, estimating at least 18,000 active Al-Qaeda operatives continue around the world in 60 countries. Al-Qaeda has become increasingly decentralized and now has to rely to a much greater extent for the operational heavy lifting of terrorist attacks on um, local groups and affiliates. Like the one blamed for the Madrid attack last March. While the new alert highlights unconventional weapons, experts aren't so sure. Al-Qaeda hasn't been very successful in its quest to get a chemical weapon. That doesn't mean that they couldn't get one. Biological is very difficult uh, technically to disseminate. Tomorrow, Attorney General John Ashcroft and FBI Director Robert Mueller will distribute photos and names of several suspected terrorists, people they want to question, some of whom may already be in the U.S. None of the Bay Area cities have received any specifics on threats. They may once the identities of the potential suspects are revealed tomorrow. Ken? All right, Greg Lefebvre, thank you.